I got the printer assembled in about six hours, which is good. I expected it to take a lot longer. And once again, I'd like to thank our good friends at Banggood for providing this printer free of charge for our consideration. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is on the right side of the printer, the lead screw and the guide rod are perfectly parallel, whereas on the left side, they are most definitely not parallel. So one of them is bent. I haven't really dug into it to see which one it is as of yet. And it has led to some issues. The first thing I tried to print is the uh, Chinese chess piece, which started out well enough. But as you can see there, I don't think my X belt was tight enough and it kind of slipped and went cattywampus. So I adjusted everything, tried again, but forgot to level the bed and it created that. So I adjusted everything again and it broke off the bed, but was printing considerably well. So there were another three attempts at printing which did not come out so well and I'm not going to show you those but we will take a look at the last one I'm trying today 94 percent I think we might make it Marvin the Martian may just be a success my first successful 3D print. As long as we don't run out of the uh, sample PLA they sent me, which is okay because I have a new roll right there. Let's zoom in a little. Eh, not look good zoomed in, does it? Not enough light. Let's try it with some more light. I don't know, you guys that are uh, the 3D printing veterans may say that looks like crap, but to me, that looks like success. We're at 99%. We're almost there. Come on, baby, you can do it. That's it, guys, you just saw it. My first ever successful 3D print. And it seems like the problems I had with everything popping off were due to improper bed preparation. So I think we've got it. So there's our Marvin right off of the print bed. I did remove the rafts around the edge, but that's it. I am uh, quite happy. Um, I'm going to try some uh, some other prints. I'm going to print a case for a couple of my Raspberry Pis and the Odroid and stuff like that. And probably print some upgrades for the printer. Which is what uh, everybody does, right? So yeah, that came out really well. So all I did... To make everything work was to wipe the print bed down with isopropyl until it was tacky let it dry and then i'm using cura and i added the rafts around the edge to give it a little something to adhere to and that's it we have had success with the printer so now we come around to this. The wiring mess. Now that I know everything is working and everything is well set up, I've got to clean up this wiring mess. But that's no big deal. 
I've got some new filament that I'm going to play with here. This is a PLA from Century. Yeah. So we were waiting on a replacement guide rod and lead screw. Other than that, everything seems good. This printer is uh, right now around 200 bucks at Banggood, but just watch and you'll see it drop down as low as about 150 bucks. And I think that at 150 bucks, you can't go wrong. I mean, every part was included, including the sample PLA filament to get you started. Everything seems good. So thank you guys. If you look at the power in screw on the lower left corner of the board, that darkened one is the common, and I believe that's the problem. I think it might not have just been tight enough, and it arced over and lost its contact. So I'm going to tighten it up, clean it up, and see what happens. Well, there you have it. As you can see, the ANET A8 is printing once again I want to thank all you guys who uh, offered suggestions especially those of you who reached out to me personally I really appreciate that and uh, told me what showed me what to look for so that's fantastic well that's going to end our three-part series on the ANET A8 printer I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, minus my little bit of frustration, I've certainly enjoyed it, and uh, it does seem to be printing pretty good, so that's really cool. Hope you guys uh, like this. Give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe, and a big thank you to all my patrons. Keep the channel alive. If you haven't checked out the Patreon page, head over there now. Talk to you later. I'm out. Peace.